Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together its operation. Give Jesus your 100%. In 2024, beloved, I'm wrapping up all the messages that our Father has given me. And it's my last year on YouTube. Our Father is done, beloved. We serve a powerful God, the greater I am, the one and only risen king, the only wise God. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved, as we are wrapping up some of the stuff that our father revealed to me are coming to mind. Praise the name of the Lord. So I just want to share with you these three things. The word of God says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 44 that the devil is a liar and he is the father of it. Praise the name of the Lord. He has placed his baits everywhere and we can only get out of this world to the kingdom of our father through obedience to him. There is no other way. Satan has his traps everywhere. Even those who think they are wise, they are under his deception. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 27, Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. That is the powerful word of God, beloved. Believers, they do not want to be told about hell. Yet Jesus spoke about hell a lot. So the word of God says that, Adultery is not only a physical act. If you are looking at a woman lustfully, you are committing adultery in your heart. You are sinning. So Jesus said it is better to plug out your eye if it will cause you to go to hell. It's better to plug it out and live with one than leaving it and it leads you to hell. Praise the name of the Lord. Our Father taught us a lot about dressing, beloved. So I'm not going to emphasize much on that. I will just go straight into a vision that he showed me. I found myself in a church. I know the church very well, and I know the men of God. So I saw some sisters were in front doing praise and worship. They were not dressed in modesty as Paul advised us in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9, that women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. They were wearing clothes that reveals their body structures. And they were young. Tight, tight clothes. And they were right in front, leading the praise and worship. So I walked straight to the man of God and I said to him, You yourself, as a man of God, you are struggling with the spirit of lust because of these young girls who are dressing 
in revealing clothes. So if yourself, you are struggling with the spirit of lust, you are sinning in your heart. What do you think your congregation is going through? I said, how can you allow these young women to be coming to church like this? When you know yourself that you are battling with the spirit of lust, each time when you look at them singing. So this is the reality, beloved. The pastors themselves are struggling with the spirit of lust. Yet they are not teaching the women to dress in modesty. We have covered this many times, beloved. Like I said, I'm not going to go much into details. The videos are there. Our father was revealing that the pastors are struggling with the spirit of lust because of the women in the congregation, because of their dressing, and they are not addressing it. They are not correcting it. It is sad, beloved, but it is reality. I'm going to move to the second one. After our father granted us the relief, beloved, in 2022, I know some people started using emojis again. This has been on my mind for a while, but I don't know why I haven't shared it. I am not saying our father said you must not use emoji, but I just want to share some of my experiences and why personally I will never use those emojis again. There was a day I was looking I just switched on my phone. So there was an emoji that someone sent unto me. So before the picture came clearly on the phone of the emoji, it was just an image. And that image was exactly the image or it was exactly one of the images of Satan that our father showed me. Exactly. I was so shocked. I said, why will someone send me this? And within a few seconds, I saw now that it was an emoji. And I believe that our father wanted me to see what is behind those emojis. So personally, even after the relief, I never went back to those emojis. The word of God says that my people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. We lack knowledge, beloved. Satan is a liar. So we are seeing emojis of those small faces. It was an emoji of a face. And we don't know what is behind it. Our father showed me different uh, forms of the devil. Some scary beast. Sometimes I will see him even with his tail. So many I have seen. And I remember the shadow of that emoji that was on my phone before the face comes in. So beloved, like I said, I'm not saying don't use emojis, but I am giving you knowledge that behind those faces, the devil is there. I saw him clearly and how his head was the day our father showed me it exactly 
behind those face emojis. That is why personally, I will never use them again. Even after our father said he's uh, lifting all the restrictions, there are some things that I just will not go there. Because our father has granted us knowledge. So I will leave that with you, beloved. Praise the name of the Lord. Another one I want to share, beloved. Our father showed me a flat earth. It was amazing. I remember it was in the morning. I wish I could draw so that I will show you. The earth is indeed flat. I saw it clearly through out-of-body experience. So, beloved, we are blessed to learn and to know the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. The God of this world has blinded the people, beloved, has blinded the believers. They do not want to learn the truth. They are still stuck into the lies of the enemy. Even if you can tell them that the earth is flat, they think you are crazy. They will tell you about science. I saw it. I saw it. Amazing. Praise the name of the Lord. So I will end it here, beloved. There are some things that I wanted to share, like I said. So our father revealed that it is not necessary, especially to help you understand how the spiritual control the physical. Praise the name of the Lord. But anyway, narrow gate is for the angels of God. You will know these things once we are transformed. So I will end it here for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.